Hello guys, welcome to my channel Here are some handmade paper that I have made And today I will show you how to make handmade envelope from recycled paper And here I have a sample green handmade envelope I really really love it because it has natural edges and the texture also it's really beautiful look at that and this is the front side I have also the blue one I'm gonna show you I love the color and look at that the edges it's naturally from the envelope mold so no cutting at all okay let's make a new one first of course you need recycled paper you can use any paper but here i would use writing book i got this paper from my cousin that she won't use anymore and the second you need to frame the envelope mold like this this mold has a specific shape of envelope and I made this mold by hand and mostly my uncle helped me thank you uncle for help me to make this one this mold is C6 envelope size so it will be fit for A6 paper size okay let's start first thing to do you need to tear the paper into small pieces there's no exact thing on the size to tear just do randomly like I did but make sure it will be blind easier in the pulp next put the shredded paper into blender usually I blend little by little because I want to get really soft and smooth pulp and pouring the amount of water you can measure around 500 until 700 milliliter water but sometimes I just pour in my two cup of water blend the paper around one until two minutes make sure the paper turn into soft pulp if not soft you will not get smooth texture paper I like to make a bunch of pulp and store them in a big bucket like this so it would be easier for me if I want to do experiment some colors take some pulp that you need for making envelope here I took around 5 until 5 cups Next is coloring process. You can use any color pigment that you have in your house and blend it with water. Usually, I use watercolor because it will be blended well with the pulp. I like to pour in the pigment little by little until I get the color that I want. You can have fun with experiment any colors that you like. Pouring enough water into big square bucket like this and make sure the amount of water is enough to draw on the envelope mold. I drop two cup of colored pulp into the water. For envelope, I would suggest making the thick one. Next is the key to make the smooth surface of handmade paper. Stir the mixed pulp water until the pulp becomes very small particle in the water. Submerge the envelope mold into the pulp water and leave it up. Place the envelope mold on a white cloth with a flat surface like this.
you need a sponge to reduce the water and make it easier to take off the envelope mold from the paper okay i think it's ready set time to lift the mold up it's normal if you see the bubble it will be disappear after the pressing process now we need to press the paper this process will help the surface and texture really smooth Let it dry around 15 until 20 minutes until the water stops flowing. I will show you the result of the magic press. Look at that, now the paper has really smooth surface. Next is let the envelope paper dry in sun. Here are some tips for you. If you want to get lighter color, try the paper in sun. But if you want to get more darker, I would suggest to dry in house without sunlight. It took one day to try because it was a bit cloudy yesterday. Finally, today is right. Time to bring them in the house. Next is peel off the paper from the white clothes. Next is folding the envelope. You need to make a line, follow the point of triangle like this. You can use any tools that have a plant tip. Here I use special tools for folding paper. I bought it on Shopee. inside of the bottom part like this and please remember just do for the left and right side Yay! Finally, the envelope is ready. You can use this beautiful envelope for a wedding invitation or thank you card. If you want to see my other project, you can check the link in the description below. And don't forget, if you like my channel, you can click subscribe and comment down below if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye guys!